Okay, we'll call the regular city council meeting from Monday, April 16th, 2018 to order. We'll do a roll call vote. Alderman Putoff, Alderman Ferrari here, Waldorf, Lacocious, Radke, Sapienza, Peyton, Ballard, Mayor Harrell. Okay, the first order of business is to nominate a temporary chairperson for tonight's meeting. I'll nominate uh, Alderman Ferrari. Motion by Alderman Payton, seconded by Alderman Sapienza. All in favor? Aye. Go ahead, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, any public comment out there right now? Any cards? No. Any presentations? No, Your Honor. Can I have a motion to accept the regular minutes of April 2nd, 2018 meeting? Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, financial report, we've got the general fund, utility fund report, improved recreation fund cash account summary for March 2018. Can I have a motion to accept these reports? So moved. Second. Motion and second, all in favor? And we have the activity reports. Can I have a motion on them, please? So moved. All in favor? Aye. Okay, we'll go to committee reports. Finance and safety, Alderman Payton, can you give us these disbursements, please? Yes, Your Honor, I'd like to make a motion that uh, this week's disbursements paid 4-18-2018 will be $2,187,528 and 92 cents. Make a motion that we pay the bills in the regular fashion. I will second that. Motion and a second. Can we have a roll call vote, please? Uh, Alderman Putoff, absent Ferrari. Aye. Waldorf, Lacocious, Aye. Radke, Sapienza, Aye. Payton, Aye. Ballard. Aye. Okay, I'd like to make a motion to authorize the mayor to execute Return for credit payments to issuers of qualified bonds for return of interest on general obligations bond series 210, recovery zoning economic development. Can I have a second? I have a motion and a second. Uh, Justin, can you form us in on this, please? Yeah, that's, uh, this is an annual uh, agreement that they signed. It's based off of uh, our 2010 series that allows us to apply for our interest to be rebated back from the uh, federal government. So uh, it's um, obviously a good thing for us to go ahead and execute that agreement. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Can we have a roll call vote, please? Alderman Ferrari. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Can I have a motion to authorize ordering and purchase of a new patrol vehicle under Illinois State bid with either sale or trade in a vehicle being replaced? I will make that a motion. I'll second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or? Uh, roll call vote, please. Alderman Ferrari. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. I'd also like to make a motion to approve a $1,000 donation to Illinois Valley Animal Rescue. Can I have a second? I'll second that. Have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call, please. Alderman Ferrari. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Uh, Alderman Payton, anything else on the finance? Thank you. Uh, Public Works, Alderman Lacocious. So, yes, tonight I'd like to make a motion to receive and place on file the water and sewer acreage and impact fees effective May 1st, 2018. Eric, would you bring us up to date on, uh, on this annual event we have? Yeah. Uh, every year annually, um, by ordinance, uh, we revise our water and sewer acreage impact fees. Uh, they increase uh, by the construction index, and that is exactly what we're receiving tonight and placing on file. So this affects uh, new developments that come into the city that otherwise are not already served by the city, uh, typically being annexed to the city and uh, requesting water and sewer. Okay, can I have a second on that? I'll second that. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. Alderman Ballard. Yes, I have three motions I'd like to combine here. We got a motion to authorize the mayor to execute a IDOT 
highway permit for U.S. 6 sanitary sewer repair, and then a motion to authorize execution of IDOT highway permit bond for U.S. 6 sanitary sewer repair, and then the resolution to allow sanitary sewer service repair beneath U.S. 6. We have a motion and Certainly. Um, this was work that we um, started last Tuesday evening around 5 o'clock. Um, commonly known here at the meetings has been um, Maria's Pizza Sanitary Sewer Line, uh, which connected into the city sewer, which runs approximately in the middle of, of Route 6. Um, we submitted to IDOT a traffic control plan. Uh, we worked with deconstruction in Illinois Valley excavating. Illinois Valley excavating provided camera services to the city during the repair. Uh, deconstruction performed the repair. Um, we again started setting up traffic control about 5 p.m. Tuesday night and made the repair early in the morning sometime around 2.30 a.m. and then we patched the road and opened the road by 5.30 p.m. on Wednesday. So. Uh, successful in making the repair and everything went as planned. So minimal impact uh, to traffic on Route 6 and again traffic control was pulled within 24 hours. Oh, did we have a motion a second? We did. Uh, let's have a roll call vote on that please. Alderman Ferrari. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Sapienza. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. I'd like to make a motion to award the North Peoria Water Main Project to the lowest responsible bidder, Gensini Excavating, in the amount of $851,994. I'll second that. We have a motion and a second. Any comment? Yeah, this is a project that we spoke about earlier this year. Uh, we'll be repa replacing the two main water feeder lines from the city's water treatment plant on North Peoria. Uh, the replacement area consists of just north of Wenzel Road, uh, south to uh, the, the Plank Road tie-in where it meets North Peoria, the Y intersection, and then also a little bit of work uh, in Shooting Park intersection at Plank Road. Um, we had a great turnout for this. Uh, we had 10 bidders in all, uh, prices ranging from the 851 to about 1.3 million. Uh, we had an engineer's estimate on the project of 1.24 million. Um, so um, I'm recommending that we award this project tonight. And we also have a clause in the bid documents that this project won't start until uh, the Tuesday after Labor Day. So the work won't begin until September. And it is work that we can do through the winter. Uh, and the primary reason for getting it out this early is we felt like we could get a good price and we get, get a lot of interest from contractors. Uh, being that it would be a late season project for them and uh, it was reflected in the bids and the number of contractors that submitted a bid. So I'm extremely happy with the results. Um, we'll work through the winter into the spring um, and obviously we've talked about the need to do this with the amount of work that we've been doing on that line over the past couple of years. Uh, it also serves as a phase one to a, to a two phase project where we're looking to widen North Peoria Street uh, with our next round of STU and MFT funds, which is planned for next spring. So we get the utilities moved and then in the spring we'll come through with the road work. So our anticipated completion date is the spring of 2019. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Can I have a roll call vote, please? Alderman Ferrari. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Peyton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Alderman Sapienza. Uh, I have a motion to approve the change order to request that contract number one in the amount of one hundred and ten thousand dollars for the ice rink modification of Eric Hill. Yeah, currently in contract one, um, we do have planned as part of the splash pad project uh, an area for a basketball court and ice rink, as well as an area for uh, volleyball, uh, sand volleyball. Uh, there's been some proposals made uh, regarding a full-size hockey rink multi-use pad, which in the summer would serve as, you know, basketball courts and other activities, roller hockey, things of that nature. Um, this price increase uh, 
is the amount needed to construct that pad above and beyond what's already in the contract. So, and the contract is about a $40,000 line item. Um, so we'll be increasing that. Um, we will be eliminating um, the sand volleyball uh, just because of the space and introducing uh, the other change with the roller hockey and extra basketball court. Uh, I will be corresponding with uh, IDNR, uh, who we have the old slide grant through, to notify them of the changes to the project. That's correct. This is just the construction of the pad itself. You can have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second that. Have a motion and a second. Uh, roll call vote, please. Oliver Ferrari. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Got a motion, can I have a second? I'll second it. Any comments? <clears throat> the only thing I'd like to say is, are we going to take donations from people too if they're willing to donate a tree? I have a motion and a second. Can I roll call vote, please? Alderman Gray. Aye. Lacocious. Sapienza. Payton. Aye. Anything else under public services? No, I think that's it. I just got one question. Are we redoing the lights at sunset, too? Somebody said they saw lights going up down there. Just was asked. Yeah, he's down working on them is what he's doing. Seeing All right, thank you. Um, i got to apologize. i got to go back to finance. Justin, can you give us a report on the budget, please? Uh, yeah, so uh, as you know, we've been going through several drafts of the last couple of finance meetings of, of the budget. Our budget hearing this year will be April 30th, uh, next meeting, two weeks from tonight, and preceding the council meeting, I believe, at 6.30, Dave. Is that right? Is it 6.30? It's yeah. either 6.30 or 6.45. It's about 6.45, 15 minutes prior. For the budget presentation and hearing. So um, we'll have a PowerPoint presentation at that point and open it up for questions. Thank you. Um, report of City Attorney Ordinance and Resolutions. Yes, Your Honor, I have one tonight in Lawrence. Accepting a warranty deed from Bernard T. Erna and Patricia A. Erna concerning right away conveyance for North Peoria Street. Okay, you heard the ordinance. Can I have a motion and a second? I'll make a motion. I'll second it. What is this? Can you fill us in a little more on? I can. Oh, um, this is in regards to um, the motion that you made tonight for the North Peoria Water Main project, uh, the relocation of that water main, um, and then also the right of way acquisition for improvements to the roadway that'll be made next year. So we needed to widen the right-of-way in that area. 
Thank you. Uh, we had a motion and a second. Can I have a roll call vote, I guess? Or yes. Alderman Ferrari? Aye. Lacocious? Aye. Sapienza? Aye. Payton? Aye. Ballard? Aye. Motion carried. Uh, any proclamations? No, Your Honor. Uh, unfinished business. Yes, Your Honor. Tonight I'd like to make a motion to hire the selected candidate for the position of administrative assistant for the engineering department. We have a motion and a second to hire the candidate for the engineering department. Um, let's give a roll call vote. Alderman Ferrari? Aye. Lacocious? Aye. Sapienza? Payton? Aye. Ballard? Aye. Motion carried. New business. Do I have a second? I have a motion and second to hire Seth Brennan to manage their uh, splash pad. Uh, uh, roll call vote. Alderman Ferrari. Aye. Lacocious. Aye. Sapienza. Aye. Payton. Aye. Ballard. Aye. Motion carried. Uh, petitions and communications. Yes, Your Honor. The first one is from Herbal Schimer, Duncan Eaton, and Hins uh, required, requesting to vacate the portion of 6th Street adjacent to the apartment building at 309 Peru Street. I will make that a motion to send it to zoning and planning or? Actually, um, I could probably receive that, place it on file and send it to my office and I'll work with the city attorney um, to schedule a hearing for that and then also reach out to the adjacent property owners. Okay, so do we need anything on that then or? Um, in our previous um, dealings with vacating right away, we did not send them to planning and zoning. So the motion is to refer and place on file. I'll second it. We have a motion and second. All in favor signify by aye. Aye. The next communication is from Hy-Vee requesting permission to hold an employee picnic at Washington Park and reserve the shelters for Tuesday, June 12th. They're talking about that being from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. I am aware that's that's actually why I placed it on the agenda um, for approval, uh, so we would know far enough in advance, and they could relocate their handicrafts for the day to a, a, the shelter at Centennial. Oh, well, that's great. I I did uh, consider that at the time, and Ivy being such a large employer, and yeah. But they'll just be moving it there for that day. They're not going to be moving it to Centennial permanently, correct? Correct. Can I have a motion to authorize permission for them to have it? I'll second it. We have a motion and second. All in favor signify by aye. aye. Motion carried. No further communications, Your Honor. Uh, any public comment? Chris Perry, you got anything you need to add? Anybody in the audience, anything? No closed session. We have a motion for adjournment. So moved. Cool. Passed. <laughs> <laughs>